Welcome to Huawei Cloud API Gateway. This video will show you how to open up an API on API Gateway. In this video, we'll use HTTP as an example. To open up an API through HTTP, you need to deploy the backend service before creating the API. The general procedure for opening up an API includes four steps. 1. Create an API group to manage your APIs. 2. Create an API under the API group. 3. Create an environment for publishing the API. 4. Publish the API in the created environment. Now, let's get started. Click Create API Group. Enter a group name and description. Click OK. After the API group is created, API Gateway automatically allocates a domain name to it. You can use this domain name to access all APIs in the group. Next, let's create an API. Enter an API name. Select the created group. Specify a security authentication mode. If you select app, authentication will be performed using the app key and app secret issued by API Gateway. If you select IAM, only Huawei Cloud users can access this API. If you select none, authentication will not be required for access to this API. Then, click Next. Define the API request path. Select a matching mode and method. The request path contains a parameter, so you need to set an input parameter with the same name. Enter the same parameter name. Select path. Click OK. Click next and define the backend information of the API. API Gateway supports three backend types HTTP, HTTPS, Function Graph, and Mock. If you select the Mock type, API Gateway will return a simulated result only. No API requests will actually be forwarded to the backend service. This backend type is often used for debugging an API. Select an access protocol and a request method. Select Do Not Configure for Configure VPC Channel. Enter the address and port number of the backend service. Define the backend request path and set a timeout duration. Because we have used a parameter backend request path, we need to define the parameter and map it to the corresponding input parameter. Click Import Input Parameter and map the input parameter to the backend parameter. Then, click Next. Define an example success response for the API. Click Finish. The API has now been created successfully. Now, let's go back to the API list and find the API we have just created. We can start debugging the API. Enter a value for the request parameter and click Send Request. The request area displays the request information. The response area displays the response status and message. After debugging the API, we need to create a running environment for it. An environment is a stage in the life cycle of an API. You can publish an API in different environments. These environments simulate the development, testing, release, and upgrade processes throughout the entire life cycle of the API. In this video, we'll publish the created API in the test environment. 